Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're going to kick some ass, take some names with the new graphics setup. Um, I don't... 23 meters, what's ahead? Is there anything up above on that thing? No. I am going to come over here though and grab... Oh, I don't need that. I don't care about that. Okay, there we go. Bits and bobs. And we're going to jump down looking for Vili, I think. Vili. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well. You taught me to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am... Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's, remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much flirty. So much flirty. Stonebur, was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go. Here. You got it, my friend. Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. All right. Shit. No survivors here. But there may be others that still draw breath. God damn it. I hate it when I can't save people. I'm coming, I'm coming, sweetie. All right, come on, hun. Let's get you out of here. Quickly, Leave your things. Get to trick me. We'll be safe with him. All right, where else do we... Let go, just go! Jesus, no, I'm coming, hun. No, I'm coming. No. Thank you, strangers. I thought Help this was my last day. Of course, hon. Of course. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my god, you're killing me. Anyone out there? Thank you. Thank you. There are oh, there's got to be people in here. Anyone? Save my family. They're in here. Save my wife, please. Leave me be. No, we're gonna get you both. We're gonna oh, get you both. Her last breath. God damn it. Damn it. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Rebut carry him just in case. Come on, hun. Uh, out. Damn you. God damn it. I hate this part. 
<laughs> Alright, up here, I guess. Holy shit, lady, you're awesome. Come on. I love how she just like whips him hey, over her shoulder. Hey, Where are you? you? Get over here. Move. Move. Get to safety. I don't know where you Vinny, are, hon. Where are you? Answer me. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Okay, okay, I got it. All right. Come on, Nifl honey. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank thee, old father. <coughs> Hold on to me. I can get you out. Okay. Let's get her out of here. <coughs> here you go, sweetheart. <coughs> Thank you, Vili. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It is good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doonfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Vili, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Heminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. <laughs> All right, Billy, where are you at, my friend? Oh, God, we're going to go overland. I'm assuming follow the road up there. Okay, I've been kind of like pounding my way through here, not doing really well, but I guess I'm getting closer to Billy. Oh, that is kind of pretty, though. Billy was right. I guess I could have gone around. I didn't need to go through. Now, where is he? He's going to be up in the middle, I bet. God, that looks cold, though. To me, that just looks really cold. Which, before transition, would not have been a thing. But now everything's too cold. He's freaking out about his dad. It's understood, dude. There we go. It's 
It's a cold, dark day. Come sit by. Eivor, you found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran, carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You know, You're always been welcome to live and prosper with us. But that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Oh, and when I was grinding, there was an asteroid that fell that I wasn't recording time out was it showed it fell by the camp. So we'll have to go investigate that after this set of missions. Okay, so it is inside the longhouse, not up there. All right, let's get in there. Jarl Heminger, I think is his name. Our join our forefathers. To see you both together again like this. It recalls days long past. Makes me feel young again. Hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader worth Worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Heming Ayal. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb, I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy, swinging sticks and 
running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud... proud of what you will become. No matter... I... 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 Father... Willy... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Oh, I see where it's at. It's going to be up in the cliff. Okay, we're going. We're going, folks. No, I don't need to crouch. Why are you crouching? A worthy pyre for Hemming or Yal. Here we go. Each of the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Should a new threat to Hemthorpe emerge, who will step up to meet it? Really? I'm not sure. No, I think Vili should just come back with me and Triga to take it over. He looks like he could handle it. Drinker. Suniba, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Gurjal. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemming Gurjal. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. 
It must be worthy of hemming a yal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Ville, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. All right. Are we getting points? Give me some skill points, folks. Come on. Oh, yeah. You know you want me to give me those skill points. Let's do this. We'll finish out this little area here. I don't know why I feel the need to finish everything out like this, but I do. I do. All right, inventory, what are you showing me up here? What's going on? Ulka Thorpe's captain's chest key. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's see. So we have silver. We have... Oh, shit. I see here. Um... Let me scroll out. Can I upgrade anything? No. And I think the arrow is the same because I need to trade that out anyways. For a dealer. Okay, so neither one can be upgraded. Go to quests. Ooh, I see. We're gonna have we're gonna have the three sub quests. I am probably gonna I'll probably record the three of those together. Those look like um flag recovery type stuff so they may all get recorded together next time but folks i will leave you here i will see you next time and until then take care